Shalom Israel. I am Priest and Officer Micra out of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge on the Commanding Journey Hannah. And today we're going to chat a little bit about the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian man. When you look around today, the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian man are always in the bottom of society. Don't matter what city you go to or what country you go to, the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian man are always in the lowest conditions in society. Why is this? Why does the black man constantly have to face police brutality? Why does the black man constantly have to face poverty, diseases, drugs and substance abuse? And even if he makes it high up in society, he is always faced with racial discrimination. But there is a secret to the black, Hispanic and native Indian man that society and the churches, your religious leaders, does not want you to know. And that is that the black, Hispanic and native Indian man are the lost 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Israel is say, Yes. That same Israel written in the Bible, that same Israel is the black, Hispanic and native Indian man today. And we're going to get a little more context about it. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou will hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So way back in the book of Deuteronomy the nation of Israel made a covenant to the Mosai and that covenant said that if they kept the Lord's statutes and commandments of the Mosai that the Mosai will put them above all nations on the earth. And when we say above, above is not holding hands in equality. Above is rulership. They would be ruling over all the nations of the earth if they kept the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Mosai. But in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15, it also said, The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The scripture in Deuteronomy 28 and 15 is saying that if we did not keep the charge of the Mosai, if we did not, did not keep his laws, his statutes and his commandments that he will bring all these curses upon us. And that is why the black, Hispanic and native Indian man is in the bottom of society today. Right? So let's take a look at one of these curses. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way thereof I speak unto thee. So just like the Lord said it would happen, the same way happened. The Lord brought us into Egypt with ships. The word Egypt is synonymous to bondage. So the Lord brought us into bondage, right, in ships. Thou shalt see it no more again, right? And, and that's exactly what happened. We never saw our homeland again. And even though we could go back to the land of Israel today, it will never be the same. It will, you will never see the glory of that land how it was today. And there, Ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Right? And we were sold to our enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. Right? We were sold on slave auction blocks. Right? The native Africans sold us to the, the Caucasians, the white man. Right? And sold us into slavery. Right? And we was bondmen, which is slave men, and bondwomen, which is slave women. And no man could deliver us out of this captivity. No man on the earth, right? Marcus Garvey tried, Martin Luther King tried, all the, the black power movement tried to deliver us out of this captivity. And here we are today. We are still in this captivity. But under Commander Johnny Hanna, we have been exposing the truth about the black, Hispanic, and native Indian man. That they are the lost 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. And we need to come back together come back as one and keep the Lord's charge, keep his laws, statutes and commandments for us to be delivered out of this captivity. Don't forget to subscribe to ISCPK.com for all ISCPK events and materials. Right, You can also go on ISCPK on their YouTube channels and on their Facebook channels and also on Instagram. And with that we say Shalom.